All right. So when we're talking about the respiration, we actually breathe in O2, right? All right. Mm. So actually, O2 gets exchanged mm, here in the lung. Okay. So actually, O2 mm, actually goes to the bloodstream like this. Okay. So O2 actually gets captured by the red blood cell. All right. So blood cells are actually um, the carrier of the O2 molecules. All right. So they carry those O2 when we breathe in. Right. So they carry the O2 actually through the blood vessel, all right? And then, so after the lung takes in O2, these cells in our body, okay? So intestine or mm, any other like organs in our body needs O2, right? Okay, so then these red blood cells are gonna carry O2 to these kind of tissue, different tissues, okay? So muscle, liver, stomach, intestine, those cells all need O2. Okay, so they are going to be provided with O2 here. All right, also they're going to be provided with O2 carried from the bloodstream. All right, also we eat food, right? So if we eat food, then um, those food are going to be actually broken down into smaller molecules. All right, so what we eat is polysaccharides. Okay, and then when we break this down, okay, breaking, breaking down actually occurs in the digestive system, okay? Then we break this down into monosaccharide, which is usually glucose. Okay, mm. so we take in glucose into the cell, all right? So cell also takes in glucose, okay, and O2, all right? So in the cell, when we magnify one cell here, Okay, then cell actually takes in glucose, okay, and O2, all right? O2 can just diffuse, okay, simple diffusion, and these cells actually have transporter for the glucose, okay? So it takes in glucose through these channels, all right? Mm. So if these two actually goes into the cell, then it's going to produce ATP, okay, which is the chemical energy, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is like a different respiration, all right, than this respiration, all right. So this is like an outer respiration, and then this is inner respiration of the cell, all right. So cell actually takes in glucose and O2, and then out of this, it produces ATP, all right. So when uh, carrying the vesicles, right, so when actually in the nucleus, and then you have endomembrane system like this, okay? So during the protein synthesis, okay? During the tr uh, DNA uh, transcription and translation, and also mm, other like transport of vesicles. So all of these mechanism inside the cell actually needs chemical energy, okay? And that is actually in the form of ATP, all right? So first, uh, we're gonna learn how ATP actually produces energy, okay? How ATP can be like a coin for the cell, all right? So cell actually has this coin, right? So ATP is like a coin, and then this produces energy, okay, in exchange, all right? So when you go to page 87, this is a structure for ATP, all right? We talked about the nucleotide before, right? Remember? So. Okay, um, we talked about four polymers in our body, right? We talked about carbohydrate, protein, lipid, and the nucleic acid, all right? So in the nucleic acid, we talked about DNA and RNA, and that actually has a monomer that is called nucleotide, okay? So when you look at the ATP, it's actually a nucleotide, right? So it has a ribose ring. Okay, so this is a ribose ring, which is a sugar. And then to here, it actually has phosphate groups. I'm just going to do it like that. Okay, so it has three phosphates. And then also attached to this, you have base. Okay, so adenine. All right, mm. so this is ATP. Okay, adenine triphosphate. Okay, mm. so ATP actually could be a chemical energy because, so when you go to page 88, mm, okay, so this is uh, the mechanism for producing energy, all right? So they produce...